So is this Happy New Year again? Yes, yes. Because after Carnival, right? After we finally passed over Carnival. Yeah, now, now, the, now the, 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 yeah. the official New Year's resolution in Brazil has passed. Happy yeah, New we survived. Happy now we are here, man. Yeah. So, <laughs> so did you guys travel anywhere during the you know the holidays? I went to Sao Paulo. I did. Oh, nice. Yeah. What did you do exactly? I went to a, a farm. Mm. Farm guy? No, no, it was, um, it was a, a, a friend of mine has this, like his family had this farm and we went there and it was like 20 people at total. Drinking and party. Young adults having fun. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Drinking. Adults. So no drugs? Nah. Nah. Only legal. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now. <laughs> what about you guys? I didn't do anything. I stayed at home watching, I don't know, Netflix, watching movies and series, taking Ozark. care of the dogs. Ozark. Ozark, yeah, for the hundredth time. I think where Jerry loves this. No, I actually started a new series called oh, Ozark the Last 2. of Us. <laughs> <laughs> I started a few ones actually. Sorry? Ozark 2. Uh, Ozark extended, 2 yeah. extended version or something. The sequel. Prequel. <laughs> they always do that. They like to yeah. tell the you know the characters' uh, background story. Uh, no, but they're not doing that. I don't uh, think so. Be nice. Maybe they will in the future. But man, how many seasons? Are, man. How many seasons? Uh, I believe it was four or five. Four or five. Oh, well, it's not that much. Probably five. Yeah. But it's eight episodes each season. Which I'm mistaken? Which TV show that you started watching? The Netflix. Oh, which ones? Uh, the Last of Us. It's on HBO. Yeah, I've heard of it. I, uh, it's it's actually pretty popular. It's pretty popular yeah. right now. And uh, yesterday they released a, I think it was a seventh episode, but I didn't watch it yet. Because uh, they, they release, they're releasing each week, yeah. you know, one episode instead of releasing all of them at once, and then you can binge watch. So you watch one episode, and then you have to wait a week, and then watch the next one the next week. Or we can't. They do it the, the old fashioned way. Yeah. But so we're like, oh, what's gonna happen next? But it's kind of slow a little bit, so it's not like there's really a, a huge cliffhanger that you're like dying to, you know, watch the next one. Yeah. But it's a good one. I, all of my I'm friends, gonna... all my friends that watch it, they say it's, it's perfect. Like, they like nice. it. They enjoy it. They're like eager to see it. And they're like, oh my god. Yeah. And they're like. It's based on a game, I think. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if the game is based on anything else, but I know the series is from yeah. based on a game. Maybe it's a book. Could be. I don't know. Yeah, I noticed that most of these shows they are based on either games or some novel that was written years ago, and then they're like, "Oh, this is interesting, so let's make a movie or a series out of it." So uh, it was the same thing with The Last of Us. But it's like it's hard to actually like. Make something that's actually like coherent to the book and all that that's actually good. And it seems like The Last of Us is actually pretty surprising. I wanted to watch Halo though. Halo is based on Halo. Halo is a, I think I think it's from HBO, I don't know. But it's based on the game and I really want to watch it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I don't know, that's I've never heard of it. It's about like um how do you say extraterrestrial type oh. things. Aliens. Oh, sci-fi stuff? Sci-fi stuff. Okay. Nice. I think I would enjoy that. I think we're generally love this. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I like those those things, yeah. Nerds. Yeah. Sci-fi and extraterrestrial life, not so much, but yeah, sci-fi in general and space travel, those things. It's interesting. Really? Yeah. Robots AI. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the robots taking over the, the world. There is actually a very good movie. Um, about AI that was in like the Oscars. I think it was about 15, 16. I don't remember the name. Is it X Machina? X Machina? Probably. Yeah. It's about like uh, like this millionaire that they do. Yeah. And like it's in a home. Yeah. So it's in, a, in an isolated place yeah. and then invites this guy to test the yeah. robot. Yeah. And then he's interacting with the robot. The guy's not But he's already testing. Like he's in the test and he doesn't know it. Because they want to see if the robot is going to fool the human uh, into being like uh, a human. Good movie. I mean, you see the robot, that it is a robot, but like the robot 
has like some emotions and like he tricks the guy into doing yeah. some stuff. So yeah. not to give any spoilers, but <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's a good one. I recommend it. Man, you know a lot, man. Recommendation. I don't I don't know the the movie name in English, but in Portuguese is the Diablo da Tristeza. It's in the movie right now. Oh, right now. Yeah. Oh, cool. I okay. think it's I think it's nominated to be an Oscar. It's the best film. Nice. Yeah. So maybe we can start with our you know our quote of the day. What is the quote of the day? The quote of the day. Man, uh, I'm so. I was actually going to ask one of you guys to bring the quote of the day, but then, uh, I mean, it was already today, so I was like, no, I better come up with my own quote. And it's not a quote, it's a little joke. And forgive me, guys, I'm an awful joke teller. Okay. I can't tell any jokes, I'm not funny. All right, all right. But I'll read it, and then you guys tell me. And it, I'm sure you guys have heard this before. So, when God created the world, he was giving out catastrophes and told an angel, here's the United States, I'll give them earthquakes and tornadoes. Okay. Here's Europe, I'll give them some earthquakes and volcanoes. Here's Asia, there will be deserts, earthquakes, tsunamis. And then the angel asked, uh, what did he ask? Yeah, and what's here? God replied, Brazil. So, won't there be any catastrophes? Asked the angel. God said, well, wait until you see the politicians that I'm going to put in here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're, we're, one, man. we're blessed <laughs> and cursed at the same time, right? You made me actually extremely sad right now. <laughs> <laughs> sad. Yeah. Wow, that one is nice. Yeah, have you guys heard this before? Not in English, never. but like in Portuguese. Oh, never, never. Who said that? I have no idea. Author? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this author is very known. This is a known guy. No, 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 yeah, everybody no. knows. It's very guy. good though. Yeah, yeah. this known guy is like really yeah. famous and known. But yeah, I just thought it was interesting uh, to think about those things, right? That Brazil were in a way blessed because we don't have those catas catastrophes, right? Like, catastrophes, yeah. uh, volcanoes, earthquakes. Uh, but I mean, our politics is pretty fucked up. So, I mean, our, our culture is fucked up. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's it's a blessing and a curse because you know we're very friendly, but at the same time, like, you know, we don't have that um, that type of empathy. That's like I, I'm more interested in your well-being, just as mine. Right, as a collective total. But that's not something that's particular to us, that's like more broader than that. But either way, it's, you know, it's, it's sad. Yeah. It's sad because you know, we don't know how to vote. Yeah, that, that's and, sad. and no one knows how to vote. You never learn that. So, how the hell can we have good policies if we don't know anything about it? Right, so. Yeah, I think most people really don't follow and, and re do like their research for the politicians to know. I mean, I, I I want to do it. I want to research, but it just slips away. The time is like, oh, it's and already also, time to vote. But yeah, and also that the system is weird because we sometimes we vote for someone and then there's like this person, this candidate for, for the X party. And then this person gets so many votes and brings some other politicians that nobody voted for. Yeah. And then it's like, I didn't, you know, I didn't, nobody voted for that guy. Why, you know, X candidate has more votes than the, the Y candidate, but because, you know, the party got so many votes, so they're pushing and bringing like all these candidates. The whole, party, the whole politics game is actually pretty curious, to say the least. Yeah. But moving, uh, going back to the, the paradise, Brazil is a, a paradise. <laughs> paradise. It is a paradise, it's beautiful beaches, no, nice it's beautiful. landscapes. I think any uh, state that you go to usually has a lot to offer. Yeah, I mean, it's it's actually, nature. I don't, I don't think there is one state that the, the can't actually be used as like some sort of like tourist guide, like some uh, attraction, actually. Um, but here in the state of Guayas, man, there's a lot of different places that I don't know yet, and I would love to meet, yeah. love to go. 
and I, I was thinking about the earthquakes, uh, and I wanted to ask you guys: Have you ever experienced an earthquake? Have you ever been in an earthquake? Not, not here, not here in the U.S. Oh, you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, where was it? Yeah, my TV almost fell. So. Really? Yeah. Not Which, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Which state was it? Oh, it was in California. Oh, California. Yeah. So like me too. Really? Yeah. Which city? In California, in Fullerton. Fullerton is in Orange County, sitting near Anaheim, Los Angeles. South. South. Right. Yeah. Right. It's near the Los Angeles. I, I don't area. remember like a big catastrophe in uh, Los Angeles. I don't remember. It wasn't like a catastrophe, but it was a uh, you could feel the earthquake. No, I was talking about like like the, like the biggest you know earthquake scale in Los Angeles. I don't mm -hmm. remember like if there was like a huge incident. In the San Francisco, that was like 7.5. Oh, that's pretty. Eight. But so, that was like a long time ago. It actually destroyed the Golden Gate Bridge. I don't know if you know that. Oh. No, it did not. Yeah, it was like in yeah, 1989, and it had like a big earthquake, and like the Golden Gate just fell. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, the one that I remember that I thought was 4.5. And I remember oh like God. exactly because <laughs> it wasn't expected. Nobody knows when the earthquake's coming. Maybe you might have a warning like a few minutes in advance, I think, but not like days in, the, in advance. So I just remember I was talking to these Brazilian friends of mine in the, the apartment. Almost like in this position, there was a guy to my right, someone in front of me. Right. And then I remember I heard this loud noise upstairs and I was about to say like, oh, someone pretty heavy just fell, you know? <laughs> on the ground because it was like this bang and then I was like weird but then like a second after that everything started shaking and then we're like paralyzed and like this I remember one of the guys was like this looking very scared it's like okay <laughs> and nobody doing? was saying anything we were just like looking at each other like you know thinking yeah, so what do we do now well, what can you say yeah there's nothing to say I guess yeah it's funny because here in Brazil we don't have like drills of earthquake in school in the US we have you know yeah. we have we have well, we don't get drills. earthquakes here so. yeah we don't have it we have like, well, like one yeah. <laughs> like the one scale yeah. probably very very mild ones I, I mean I know we my mom she said like this was probably like thirty years ago she felt some like tremors in the apartment where she was living right but I think she felt it because she was living in this residence building you know so like the higher up you are and you can feel oh, it a little more. Oh. But like if you're in the ground, probably nobody felt. But she, she was like, oh, I felt that I was dizzy. But then stuff was moving, like you know, the books very lightly. But that's not like the earthquakes that we feel in California. If if I lived in a place where it out of nowhere just shaped, I'll move. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust this thing in that. But then it wasn't only structure. that building. It was like the area. Oh, because yeah. then oh, okay. she, it was either something on TV that she saw or other it people. Moved anyway. Huh? No, I'm, I'm saying yeah. it would move anyway. Yeah. I'm moving. <laughs> I'm yeah. up to the the, the 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 part that isn't shaking. I'm right next close to it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, no. But but it was something like in the area. It wasn't like the building that was badly built. It was more like you know because I, I think that's sort of I heard I remember I read something about this. It's like deep layers of soil they might accommodate somehow because of a fracture in the bedrock or something like that. And then that can cause tremors. Oh. It's not like actual earthquake, but some tremors. Yeah, but you feel something. It's not comfortable. Feel it. It's rare, but you might. You brought something up because you said that sometimes you get a message saying that something's going to happen, right? In the US? Yeah. Of, about earthquakes, I didn't get anything. Okay, yeah, because I heard, um, you know, I don't know about this uh, the schedule, but for example, I heard um, that here in Brazil, we had that thing in Sao Paulo, right? Um, San Sebastian, I think. Yeah, is it the landslides? Oh, and I heard that the guys, they knew about it, the mayor. Yeah. And the mayor knew about it, and uh, I don't forgot the name, the state. The governor? Yeah, they both knew about it. And they tried to reach the, you know, the people there. Of course, it wasn't successful. And but this is something interesting to think about, right? Um, the responsibility about this, uh, if you know that something's about to happen, and how uh, we are going to, we are going to communicate with other people, you know, 
Because this is serious, right? A lot of people died. A lot of people died, and, yeah. I don't know, like, the, the number. No, I'm not sure, but I think it was about 60 so far. Yeah, it's about, I think it's about 60, yeah. you know, so. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Uh, but, but there's also the thing of some people, even if they get a warning, they're very poor. It's like they don't want to leave their houses to go to move. Yeah, but in a different place, they're like, oh, I'm not sure if this is really going to happen because how can you yeah. guarantee that the, the, there will be a landslide that's going to kill a bunch of people and leave? Yeah, that's true. Home, it's you know? really complicated. So it's like, yeah, they have to wish a warning to give them a warning, but then you don't know if, because you cannot make people leave their homes. So it's a complicated issue. Indeed. Indeed. Well, and then just. Well, did I finish the earthquake story? I don't know. But yeah, it was it was kind of fun. It's weird to say that, but it was a kind of fun experience. The earthquake, because obviously everybody survived. There were no. <laughs> there were no like, oh, it was fun. Like people died. <laughs> Fuck it. <No> was fun. <laughs> <laughs> and there was no damage to the buildings. I I watched the news the next day. But I remember the teacher that, because here's the thing, there's an earthquake now and then there are the after, I don't know how you call it exactly, like the after shakes or something like that. And you keep feeling those tremors. Tremors. Yeah. You no, know, even the next day. And then we were in class and the teacher, she was so scared. Well, the next day was actually a new earthquake. It wasn't like the, the after thing. But the teacher was Those two scared. days straight of earthquake. Yeah, two days. Because there was one like, Early in the evening, the other one like the was in the morning, all. the next day in the morning. Yeah. And the teacher, she's American, and she was probably used to that, but she was so scared. Like, she made us scared. We were not scared, the students. <laughs> but then, so, hey, wait a second. She's American, she's scared. What, yeah. <laughs> what about us? Maybe if you think about it, <laughs> something's <laughs> going on here. And then we're like, okay, maybe should we run like out of the building? I don't I don't remember what Hey, do you remember the story that um, in that day, you and the guys, uh, you were actually um, playing a game. We're not playing a game. You were. were. Game? No, you were playing a game, I think. I think you were having that game that you couldn't say a word. You only, you could only say a word in English, not in other languages. Right. Do you remember that? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, we had a rule. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's not a game exactly. So yeah, it's not a game. It wasn't bad. It's more like a punishment. <laughs> yeah. Because here's the thing, we were all Brazilians living in the same apartment, five guys sharing this apartment. And, and during the during the pre-academic program and like learning English, going to classes, grammar classes and stuff like that. And like inside the apartment, I suggested that, you know, we, we should only speak English so we could improve our English. And if anyone spoke a word in Portuguese, we had to pay a fine, a dollar fine, and then we had this jar so, we would put like a you know right. a coin or one bill, a dollar bill there. And yes, we were speaking English at the time, but then we lost it. Then everybody <laughs> was like, man, what's going on? This yeah. And I remember the guy from the other apartment, he was sleeping and he's like, oh, you know, I was sleeping and I, I dreamed there was a giant man shaking my bed. <laughs> But then he woke up and realized, oh no, it was an earthquake. It was a giant man. Yeah. Invisible or something? I don't know. Maybe. I think, I, I think I, I, I'll be more... Um, because I've been through earthquakes, I would, like small earthquakes. I don't want to be a part of like, a tornado. Like seeing it on a video, I'm already like, nah. I don't, nah, that doesn't look fun. No, <laughs> that doesn't look... Well. That doesn't look like interesting to be a part of, to look close. Nah, I'm alright. Yeah, it feels like the earthquake, depending on how strong it is, it's safer than a tornado. Ah, it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. Like, Especially because the buildings are, they're made most, yeah. to... Normally. Normally. Yeah. But yeah, moving on. Um, <coughs> so last time we, we, we had like fun facts and this time I brought something, it's called like Study Finds. There are, there's a website called studyfinds.org. Study Finds? Study Finds. So, you know, people will study about lots of things, useless things usually. Sometimes okay. there are <laughs> interesting things. Okay, okay. And, uh, useless. But this, this is something very interesting. I don't know what you guys think about it, if you ever thought about it in the first place. So, number one, Study Finds. Researchers found evidence that people can use their intuition to make faster, more accurate, and more confident 
decisions. It doesn't sound right, but... but it doesn't sound like useful, like, I mean, useless. No, it's this not is not useless. It's not useless. Oh, okay. yeah. But, I mean, this website sometimes has some... Oh, it has some But not okay. the ones that I, you know, chose. Selected. Okay. Yeah. You brought the best. Yeah. Train your intuition. Intuition. Yeah. And, and I remember this. To make this, better decisions. Make better decisions. When you need to make them quickly. Okay. And one example that I can give from my own experience is doing tests in school. Or even entrance exams. Like college and entrance exams. You know, you have like a multiple choice. You read the question and sometimes, at least with me, I will see the, the options and immediately I'm like, oh, maybe it's letter B, the correct one. And then I'm going to start thinking about it, maybe do some calculations if it is a math or a physics uh, kind of problem. And then I, oh no, it's letter C. And then when I check the results, it was actually letter B. It happened to me like a few times. To me too. Yeah. To me too. And I, I saw this uh, professor of mine in college, she was talking about this. And she put it into words what I, I always thought. She's like, oh, you know, intuition. It's not this sixth sense thing that people might think. It's just an accumulation of knowledge that you have. And then you're able, your brain is able to very quickly gather all that information and make a quick decision. And then that's why sometimes when you read those tests, you those have questions, and you have that feeling, oh, this one is right, because it's like just your brain in the unconscious unconsciously doing the math and like giving you the results. You share your story reminded me of my times in high school. Well, I would do some tests and you know, I was like, I think it's this one. <laughs> but I don't know. And then I, when I went to the other answer, the, my second option, the first one was normally right. And it's crazy how our intuition like calculates things so fast. And what interests me more actually is not in that situation but like in sports where like a single movement changes like your whole performance that is correct i think that's yeah. amazing Definitely. because you have to like you train that your, your whole body is you know optimized to perform in such a level that you can make like a spontaneous reaction brilliant yeah. Do something brilliant yeah. and also the muscle memory yeah the muscle you're not memory. Yeah. really thinking of what you're doing but then you're just in the moment your body just acts does it your body just acts like in, in dancing as well i think it's beautiful yeah it's beautiful it makes sense have you had any experience like that do you remember when you're coding you <laughs> use your intuition yeah, you can't <laughs> otherwise <laughs> when you're coding <laughs> Man, but I think uh, it's totally, your eyes. Yeah. a touch of genius, a comma. Right? No, but I think uh, that, that's what you said, right? I think this is something that, um, you know, there's one phrase, one sentence that people say about lucky. Um, you know, luck uh, comes when you're prepared. Um, but it's something like this, right? When you're prepared, things are going to happen because you have the knowledge and everything. Uh, when we were talking about tests, you know, you have that information somewhere, you know, I don't know how, and then... That's um, like story. When you, yeah, yeah, I don't know. But when you meet, uh, I think you're going to use it, about uh, the activity, the muscle memory and everything. So I think it's the same way. But I think, uh, for example, when, I don't know, maybe when we make simple decisions, you know, for example, there is one, you have two places, and then there is one dark place there, I don't know, one street and, and then you think, hey, you know what, I'm not going there. It doesn't look good, I don't know. You don't know for sure, right? Uh, but there's actually one study, I don't know, not a study, but I watched it one day, I don't know if you guys agree or not, that uh, we usually say that the, our best decisions are the ones that we think uh, here, in our minds and everything, that we calculate and everything, the pros and cons. But if we think about, usually our decisions are made about based on what we feel and then after when we feel this, we are going to create reasons only to support our feeling. I don't know if you agree with that. Oh, well, I think that's a tendency because we're more emotional than rational. 
Yeah, of course, that's why we got to think about our, our feelings, you know? Because, for example, when you go to the gym at first, you're just thinking, hey, you know what? I just want to look good. I just want to have the feeling of look good, you know? Just a few people think about health. I mean, and even if you think about health, it's because, oh, you know what? I want to have more time with my, uh, my daughter and everything or whatever. Normally, health comes into, you know, it's a reason for you to start normally exercise when you're doing extremes. Either you're too skinny or you're too fat, and then you do that. Yeah. You see, okay, I have this necessity to, you know, work out. Because it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I like working out in the gym. I like to do calisthenics. You know, for sure. That's much more fun. Yeah. Outdoor. No, man, I think I used to think it's that it's fun, man. but it's not fun at all. You have to use your body weight. That thing is it's not good at all, man. Yeah, it is harder. I think it's harder. A lot than harder. going to the gym because in the gym you can set your weight, and if you're kind of lazy that day, you're not feeling. I don't like using the word lazy. I prefer to say beginner. Yeah. <laughs> gym. <laughs> then you can like maybe use a lighter weight, but then calisthenics. I mean, you, <laughs> you can't yeah. choose. No, but even calisthenics, man, you take a long time to progress. You know? Yeah, but there are progressions, yeah. Yeah, it took a, man, it takes a long time. In gym, it's easier. But I think it's a more useful, and we're actually going to maybe talk more about this later, uh, but uh, I think it's a more useful kind of strength, being able to handle your own, body, body, yeah. your own body weight as opposed to... I agree. It might be interesting. Yeah, it might be interesting. Yeah. You know, we can discuss about it. Gym muscles is a fuck. <laughs> just inflated. Just inflated. Just inflated. Um, I'm lost here. Okay, if the, the body is lost, man, man. <laughs> so there's nothing we can do. The body is lost. number two, and this is for you. Two thirds of parents oh. agree kids have <laughs> kids have it much better today, but most still like their era more. Did Wait. you understand? No. Most parents. They think kids have it easier today, but those parents still think their times were better then. Okay. Ah, okay. Today's easier. Today's easier. The, the kids get uh, have it easier today with all the you know technology and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I think man, that's what I because for example, I've talked to some parents and some guys, and they all said, "Hey, I want to raise my kid in the country," and then I didn't understand at first. In the country? You mean? I mean, in the country. country. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think I understand them a little because it looks like it looks like that one, you know. Because I mean, we have so many things today, but at the same time, we do not, you know. Because I think we have so many, I don't know, tech stuff and everything. But I think um, there are a lot of things missing. For example, maybe parents they used to play more with their kids, you know, in the past. Um, I don't know, spend more time with the kids, and today I don't know. There are plenty of video games and they're so cool. They want to spend their whole day there. And yeah. I think even the parents sometimes they want to spend so much time on their phones or yeah, yeah. using technology. As yeah, I think so. I try to spend my time with my daughter as much as possible, but I know that a lot of people, they prefer, for example, to give the phone to the kid or, I don't know, for the kid to do something else. Yeah, yeah but what do you guys think of what, in your case, um, what do you think about children being exposed to these type of devices, phones, tablets? I mean, I think they are going to be exposed anyway, so I think we got to check from time to time, you know, and limit. There are some tips about it. There are a lot of guys that they talk about it, about this. But in your case, like, what, what do you... What do I do? Yeah. Well, usually I try to set one time that is like... 40 minutes a day at most. And we it's just, good. I think it's a good time for her. She just watches crazy videos and stuff. But sometimes when she's watching something and I, and then I see, and then I think, man, does an adult watch this? Because this person's retarded, you know? Some TikTok videos are crap, man. We were talking about it. But is it cartoons or actual people? No, man, they're so, man, that's because maybe you guys don't check, you know, there are crazy stuff on the internet. Crazy stuff. You know, for example, there are videos of people farting. 
you know, who are, I don't know, uh, <laughs> crazy stuff, man. Yeah. Out there. And, but anyway, I think, um, they need to be exposed. They're gonna be anyway, so if you want it or not. But I think we can limit the time, yeah. you know, and use it in a good way. And, 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 and do you take your daughter to like, you know, parks and everything? Yeah, I do. I do. Socialize with the kids. And all yeah, that. because I also believe, for example, I I also believe that um, in the past people used to see. Um, I think you guys agree, but in the past people used to see um, the distance of the things. Would be like um, further than what we have today. For example, today we only see cell phones which have like I don't know, 15 or 20 centimeters, or our TV which is like three meters or something. Mm -hmm. So I think I like when she goes to the park. She says like, "Hey, you know what? There's a tree there. Or look at the moon up there." So I like to take her out. Yeah, That's for nice. that. That's yeah, nice. for that reason, you know, she likes you know. That's good, that's good. That's a good thing, yeah. And study finds number three, uh, running is actually good for knees. Study finds. Seems counterintuitive. Yes. No, I mean, like, the depends. The the like, running and, like, what intensity, I guess. I have no idea. No, well, depending on the intensity. Intensity was. Like, no, because it, uh, exercise in general is good for like, everyone. I don't know because this is too broad. We can't. Yeah, it's too broad. Yeah, it is too broad. I, I I read briefly, but it's not talking about extreme running. Maybe three times. Maybe jogging. Jogging. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, for me, at first, because I didn't use to run, and when I started running, I would feel my knees after like five minutes, and I was like, okay, I can't run. But then I I kept on insisting. You know, no, no, I'm gonna insist. I. After two days, I'm going to start running again. And then that time increased. I would feel the pain after seven minutes, after 10 minutes, after 15, until I no longer feel the pain. And I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Because in my mind, I thought, okay, if I have this problem, I'm running, and I feel after five minutes, it means that if I keep running, it's going You're to like ruin my knees oh. in a way. Yeah. But no, the body does something apparently like an anti inflammatory. Yeah, something repairs. Yeah, and then it's gonna make it. When we say that, when it, when we say that we um, that our knees hurt or something that we have a problem, when we say knees, we are talking about the bones or the muscle. What are, what, what are we talking about? Um, I think it's like the bones and the what are the stuff about? around the bones. Yeah. I don't know how. I think it's the tendons. Maybe the tendons. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But it's like uh, your body when you do a certain workout. And after a while, the more you do it, the, the less pain you feel. So it's if you do the same workout, like let's, let's say you do one workout, after a long time, you know, you didn't do that much, um, you know, physical activity, and you do a workout, and your body is sore, but already in the next one, you won't feel as much pain as in the, the last time. Yeah. So it's it's more like a, a resistance type of thing. Yeah. But it's more about the muscle, I think, right? Yeah. It's more muscle, muscle. But like, yeah. I don't know if you can, like. That's what I think is good but for the knees. Different, um, right? The knees. Yeah, different. yeah. Maybe there are, there are muscles here involved. I, I mean, yeah, right. Right. But I, I don't know. That one that study topic is kind of I don't know. You don't maybe it's too broad. No, oh, because because running run is you 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 use your legs and. You know, you, you create a certain um, strength. So yeah, that, because this is not for everybody. I, I mean, yeah, it's too broad. Yeah, but it's for true. example, you know, my brother, he can't run. He can't run. Yeah, he can't because he tried to force. He was running. Hey, you know what? This is gonna stop someday. He kept running. Okay, then it didn't stop. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe man. he needs to learn a better technique. Because in now my he's case, it's similar. Because there's a lot of impact. That's the guy, the guy said that he needs to restrict this part here, the mm -hmm. muscles and everything. So same thing I was told with you. No, yeah, I was also checking some because he's too tall. How old is your brother? Well, he's twenty. No, he's not twenty. I don't know. Let me see. Ninety. 30, <laughs> Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yeah. And there are guys, for example, in the gym that I met. This uh, the guys were. I mean, one guy actually. Was so heavy, you know. 
too fat, you know, so he couldn't run. Mm. So what, what he was doing to do the cardio, he was like the bodybuilding, but with uh, more repetitions, uh, you know, less rest during the sets, you know, because so he, he couldn't run. Yeah, yeah, because he couldn't run. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, running might not be for everybody, but yeah, yeah. It helps. No, I, actually, run. I think it's hard to be honest. I think it's, it's hard. You know, it helps. I mean, when you run by yourself, that's that's not fun. But running is like if you play soccer, if you play basketball, if you play with other people. people. If you play with other people and you're running, you don't even notice because that's not the main task. There's other things involved. Running is a part of it. So that's that's fun, but when you run by yourself, uh, that takes some um, that takes some um, little bit more, I think, uh, enthusiasm, motivation. To oh, just run by yourself. Yeah, a lot of motivation. But yeah. if you're in a nice park, you know. No, oh, if, if I'm in a nice park, I, if I'm in a nice park, I like to walk. A nice park, I like to walk. I mean, I like to sit down, and just look at things, you know, just admire. I don't want to run. <laughs> <laughs> People oh. watch. <laughs> you, know, this, you, know, you know there's an activity called people watching. People just sit somewhere at a park at a, at a mall and they start just watching people. And I've done that once. It's pretty fun. Just to watch people <laughs> just and see what they do, like how they, they are behaving. Uh-huh. You know, maybe some are talking to themselves. That would be me, actually. People are weird. To myself people the are weird. That's fun. People are yeah, weird. that's why Big Brother is so famous, right? Yeah. I'm kidding. I don't watch, but, but a lot of people like to. They want to see the reaction of other people, right? We were talking about something like this, right? They want to know, hey, how would that person react to that situation? And then, hey, let me see. I, I enjoy the, 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 like, uniting different people from different places in the same spot, like, and, you know, put them in this situation of, like, a game and how they go. I think it's an interesting experiment. Except I don't know if it's, like, completely true. If they are like completely free to say and do whatever they feel like it, you know, because beforehand they have a contract, they you know they are yeah. instructed in certain aspects. So it's just I don't know if it's actually that um, honest, if it's that actually that fluid. I think earlier versions talking about Big Brother Brazil, earlier versions they were a little bit more spontaneous. Yeah, maybe they weren't like playing. As I think that's why they're, they're more memorable. Game. That's why they don't remember. The most ones that. Uh, yeah, everybody remembers. And now this. I didn't I don't watch, but I think everybody talks about the first ones. Yeah. And I mean, nowadays I don't watch it either, but I know people are always commenting, oh, the game, and uh, this person is playing, the other person is playing. Like, how exactly? Maybe they're trying to show a side of themselves, so trying to be what, who they're not, you know, to. Yeah, they became, you became like a series, you know, where people are actors and that, hey, you know what? Uh, you wanna, you're going to see this side that I have, right, or the site uh, that I created. Uh, this is going to be me from now on, so because it's a game, right? I don't know. Yeah, but the know. thing is that they, they actually, they create another game as to how long they can resist and, and stay in that character that they're not. So it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. they're not benefiting at all, because normally, at the end of the day, the, the person that tried to show a certain character, they don't win. The most you and know, think, authentic ones or yes. the ones that like, you know, show more of who they generally are outside are the ones that normally win. Yeah. Or I at least it, stays longer. It's pretty, un- unless you're a psychopath or something, it's, <laughs> pretty, <laughs> it's pretty transparent when you're trying to fake some other personality. Like or when you're not being authentic, yeah. people can tell. Especially when, after, I don't know how long they spend that, like two, three months? I think it's three months. Yeah. It's a long and time, man. Like one that wins. Yeah, but yeah. I remember last year, it was either last year or two years ago, each page, every time that I would go online, it didn't matter what, YouTube, like the news or the TV, YouTube, they were uh, always talking about Big Brother Brazil, all the time. And even politicians, I would follow some politicians, and politicians were talking about it, and I'm like, what the hell, you know, everybody's talking about it. There was this one... Even, and I wasn't like... Yeah. Necessarily watching it, but I knew everything that was happening because everybody was talking. Yeah, and I, I know that feeling. I know that 
only you crazy. only see the highlights. You only read the highlights on the yeah. news and everything. That hey, well, I think I know everything. Yeah, exactly. And uh, if if you guys are watching this, you're present. It was the season where Carol Conca was there, so oh, you know I, I everybody was, knows. Even I don't if they're know. Not watching, what is but this? They know Conca. Who is this? She's a singer. She's a I think a southern singer. Uh, okay, southern. okay. I don't know. Yeah, sorry. But I, I remember that season. Me. I remember that season because of the the kind of the controversy behind it. There was some moments there that you know, people accuse a a singer. I think it's from where I was, uh, of racism because of one of his statements. I think. And yeah. many people talked about that situation, and it, like it polarized social media because some people said uh, that it wasn't racist, and it was like, that is racist, and then. Wow. Chapel Lifer, that was you know the host, he you know you know called him out on his racism and, and he said oh this is because of this 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 and this and people were all like you know like that yeah. Yeah. I mean but but really, there was a lot of things that happened in that season that was really boring especially like in the first weeks because of like people were like. People were insane. No, <laughs> they were, I'm pretty sure they were that, torturing a guy. I'm yeah. pretty sure they were making a lot more money because people were talking. Even as I said, politicians were talking about yeah. it. Even politicians. So it was a very successful season. In terms of think. attention, yes. Attention, yeah. But I, like, right in terms now, of like the game, it wasn't actually that healthy. It was really, it wasn't a, a good sight to see. I'm pretty sure they were, they were. They liked because of the money. But the fun one was in 2020. That was actually a fun, a, a fun uh, season. I remember like the first one. I think it was 2001. I'm not that. Man, no, you're not that old. It was a long time ago, man. I wasn't born then. <laughs> no, right? No, because <laughs> there was a guy from the house and uh, I remember that. I think he won. I remember the first one. The first season. Yeah. What is he doing now? Dominic. He won. Do you remember that he wanted to become a politician? He was a candidate. Oh, many of those ex yeah, uh, actually, yeah. former. There was one that was a politician. I think it was John Williams. Oh. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he we left the country. And now I don't know if he's back. Um, I, I have no clue. Yeah. He was a good politician, though. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about something else. Let's yeah. <laughs> change some <the> subjects. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe not be so controversial. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not that much. Like last time. <laughs> yeah, not that much. We started good. <laughs> yeah, but uh, all right. Uh, so yeah, last time we talked about something very controversial, <laughs> and we said that I said that it was probably the the biggest news that we had in Brazil. Yeah. Then, but then a few weeks later, there was something a lot more important and catastrophic than that because it was everybody knows like the earthquakes in, in Turkey and Syria. And just kind of like ties to what we were talking in the beginning, like Brazil being this country that has no catastrophes and stuff like that. Other than that. Those natural disasters, yeah. right? I mean, we do have like the landslides, but in terms of earthquakes and tornadoes that really... Yeah, we're actually... There's lots of damages in large areas. I mean, we're kind of... We don't suffer a lot from that. Safe. Yeah, at least from that. At least from that. But yeah, we do not. Well, you know, we try ourselves, so... Yeah, just so either way. <laughs> it's, so it's, it's a, it's you know, it's no, it's about normal life, right? Everybody has problems. It's a bad pros and cons, right? Yeah, but it just got me thinking about uh, the fragility of, of humans uh, of our existence because I think it was like seventy people that died, right? Seventy thousand people, hmm. something like that. In the, the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. So it was like a huge really? number. Are you sure it's that much? Yeah, that's, that's a lot. It was it was a pretty huge number. I didn't like search uh, exactly, but I remember on the news. Was this what was it the first time that something like that happened there? It was not the first time though. No. Because I uh, they were saying that the, the city or the countries actually they had they reformulated the, the building codes so the, the construction companies would make the building safer. And also the, in the design phase, phase and the construction phase, but apparently not everybody followed the code. That's why so many buildings fell and killed lots of people. So, but it's interesting. So, what, what was it like older buildings though? I think there was a mix of older buildings and oh, also yeah. newer ones, oh. ones that were built after 
two thousands that uh, the code the code was relatively new. So the code was right. Hmm? The code was right. Who found the code? I don't know if they did that investigation like in every single building, but like as far as because they failed, so like they shouldn't. You know, when you see those buildings in. New York. Do you remember the scale of the earthquake though? Or of the Seven earthquakes? point something. Or eight point something. Yeah, that's strong. Yeah. That's Very strong. strong. Very strong. Nothing compared to the one that I told you in California for <laughs> well, that, now, like, oh, that was for briefly. No. <laughs> it was terrible. It was a bad experience they had they had. Yeah. I mean, there was not Rogero, bad at all. Rogero is right. the worst catastrophe like in human history. A four point nine. Man, that's why he's a motivational speaker now. He's the boss. Yeah, yeah. He's a boss. Man. We look up what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Definitely. But uh but I wanted to tie that with because this is sort of like a conspiracy and I've been diving it's not a conspiracy. It's, it's more of a theory. But I've been diving in this this uh rabbit hole okay. recently about ancient civilizations, you know. So I'm thinking like, okay, so these earthquakes, you can see like the damage that they do. They kill thousands of people, volcanoes, tornadoes, tsunamis, they kill thousands of people. They, they have the power to kill a lot of people and destroy buildings and basically erase history. So there are some buildings uh, on earth or some, not buildings, but like some megaliths, yeah. or some old constructions that are thousands of years old. And then you're like, okay, who built this? Where are those people? You know? So that's where the conspiracy kind of is. It's not a cons. Well, you guys are the judge. We'll be the judges if this is a conspiracy or not. But for example, the pyramids. I love this story. The pyramids are believed to be 4,500 years old, built by the Egyptians. But some people find. Yes. Allegedly, some people found <laughs> evidence to suggest that they are much older, like twenty thousand years old, and that they were not built by the, 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 the Egyptians. Yeah. That the Egyptians that moved to Giza, there they found the pyramids there already, and they used it. They used them, and no. then like all of us would believe, okay, yeah, it, it was built four thousand years ago and for the pharaohs, but it's like. If I'm not mistaken, and if the YouTubers that I've been following <laughs> are not mistaken, I'm sorry. There has, that's a very there has source. never <laughs> that was my source YouTubers. <laughs> YouTube sources. Uh, there have never, there has never been found a single, how to say, like a, a mummy, a single mummy in those pyramids. Yet they claim they were tombs for the pharaohs, but it's like. They never found a mummy in there, a pharaoh mummy. What's your point? Well, my point is history might be a lot more different than we think. Because the thing is, uh, we recorded history before recorded history. There were the human, uh, the hunter gatherers. People would just move around, hunt animals, gather fruits, eat, and then if they couldn't find animals in the in the region, they would move to a different region to hunt other animals to survive. They would be moving from place to place. Until they settled in the place when they, they learned their agriculture. They yeah. split settled they, in they place longer, their, yeah, that place you know, the area. And then yeah. that's when civilization starts. Okay. But then when you come to think of those constructions that are so complex, nobody knows how the pyramids were built. And yeah, if they okay. are in fact much older than four thousand years old, it doesn't make any sense that the hunter gatherers went to the all that trouble because some of the stones they weigh tons of kilograms or pounds, if you will. Yeah, but they had a lot of slaves doing that. Yeah. Okay, which, but uh, which is mind-boggling to think about, like how many people were um, worked on that specimen. And for like how, how many years, like what is it, like 50 years? Nobody knows. Building that number. It's a long time. And it's not even like the, the size of the, the blocks, but also how very symmetrical some of the stuff 
You know, I haven't read that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, 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 are there are many theories. Many, true. Yeah. There are many theories yeah. like they, they found these tools around the the pyramids or inside of it or somehow uh, in, in the vicinity. And they're like, oh, they must have used those tools. But then when they try to replicate uh, you know, let's cut the stones and like use these tools. They they could not do it. <laughs> they couldn't do it. And it's like, oh, maybe they were cutting like using this giant saw. I think it's a bronze saw, and they would take days to cut like a centimeter of the stone. Wow! And to think there are millions and millions of blocks, and like, how the hell did they do that? They must have had some kind of technology, and not technology that we see today, like microphones and stuff like that. But some kind of technology that is lost. This was lost. But that's that's, 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 an, that's interesting. Like how so many years ago there was such an advanced you know, architecture, mm-hmm. and from that point on, it didn't maintain. Like we just we hit like a stone wall in that type of engineering. A stone wall, like, and also there, there, there's it's like. Not talking about the pyramids, but all their structures. It's like the, the foundation is very heavy and well built, and then you can see evidence that there were some other like constructions on top of it, and it got worse over time. Worse and worse. It's like the technology was totally lost. Totally lost. Yeah, but I think I don't know if it's the same idea, but if I but I think it's just about the philosophy. For example, we had a lot of guys in the past, okay. I don't know the name in English, let me see, Plato, I remember Socrates. Yeah, okay. And what do we have today? Only people who study those guys. I mean, we haven't developed. We only study what those guys thought. Oh, maybe he meant that thing, you know? Depends. I think it depends. Because, like, after that school of philosophers, there have been others, countless others. Yeah, but... Especially because, you know, philosophy is the mother of all sciences. So, like, you know, if you're a physicist, if you're a chemist, if you're a biologist, if you're a philosopher. Yeah, you should be. No, that is, that's philosophy. You think about yeah. life, you think about, like, how do you, you know, like, you question things, that's philosophy. It doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter the science. So it, it, it just got more complex, and it just got more, like, specified, oh, this is more in this region, this in this region, or this in this region. Yeah, but if we think about how those because guys were those deep, they, no, yeah, no, but the deep, deep are so, you know, the distance is so long. I think it depends. I think, like, let's just say, the, the you, moment, well, think about it, think about it, like, we, when we were in the pandemic in 2020, and you just stay at home thinking about things, you realize a lot of things. Yeah, when you, wasn't when you have time, like yeah, but we Greece, weren't even close. No, but think about it. But like in Greece, like you know, if you were a Greek citizen, you didn't work. Your work was being part of the society, like politics. Who worked was slaves. So you had plenty of time to think. Got it. But in our case, we don't have time to think. Yeah, we're very. Yeah, busy. you're not wrong. That's why when we do, way, that's yeah. why when we stop it, like, I, like many people that I talk, like, what was your experience in the pandemic, I think about a lot. Like, I know. like I, 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 I thought about so many things, like my life changed. I had a life changing experience, in, you know, in that year, I thought about a lot of things that I never thought about before, and it changed the way I act today. I was like, oh my god, I, I was so full of myself, and I just got. Like a little bit more humbler, a little bit more okay. So I'm more realistic about what's happening around me and who I am. But I had time to think. Like everything just stopped. Yeah, I think today. Yeah. So if you have time to think, you can think about a lot of things. Yeah. Very complex things. But we don't want to think. (laughs) No, seriously. Yeah. I mean, people prefer other people are gonna think for them. Maybe the TV. Especially the especially because when you think about things, you hurt yourself because you have to be true. You have to be honest. Yeah. And you have to see some things that you're like, man, I don't want to recognize this. Yeah. But then you have to. It's good. It's a good, it's a good process. I think it's important. Yeah. From time to time, we just uh, stop doing what we're doing because we see ourselves all the time so caught up in, in daily obligations and, the, and routine and we're constantly 
busy with stuff all the time. And then it's important to sometimes reflect in your life and just see like where things are going, if you're in the right place, what changes you should make in your life. So I'm, I'm going to make better. you a question. In your days, how many times I should stop thinking about things? Like, go out of the automatic and just be manual and just think about things. You too. How many? That happens very rarely, maybe once a week. You mean uh, when you uh, even once a week stop once. stop thinking about automatic stuff? Yeah, you just, automatic just, stuff. Yeah, you just stop. You just stop saying like you just like wait a minute, what am I doing? Okay, every evening you do this. Every oh, evening. Every evening. Yeah, yeah. Much every better evening. than me. That's a good habit. Yeah. That's a good habit. Yeah, it is. I like I like to be kind of alone, you know. But I I notice that some people, for example, usually they work, they wake up, and then they go to work, and then think about something. They are gonna drive the car with the music on, so you yeah. don't think. You go home, you watch TV, and then you go to sleep. So you didn't think about anything. And but but like, every day I think I I stop a little. I usually like to put you know uh, or I put I go on YouTube and I I like to put uh, rain background. <laughs> Can't believe this. Nice. And I put a headphone here and then I I stop for a while. It's about thirty minutes. And it's so cool. I love it. Yeah. Every night, every evening, I do this. I have, again. I have um, like very introspective thoughts when I'm like taking a shower, like out of nowhere, just like like it's something that clicks. I'm like, you gotta be alone, that's right? A good idea. Yeah. So shower, uh, I don't know, morning or before sleeping. I don't know. Yeah, I should probably do that more often. It's good. It's good. I mean, I, I need to do it more often too. All right, man. Uh, what else did I want to say? You mentioned Plato. I remembered something. Plato went to Egypt in his time. Did he? And he talked about. Have you guys heard of a uh, city of Atlantis? Still in the conspiracy section. Yeah. yeah. Well, what is the what is the what is the point? I mean, the city. What's Plato the city? talked about. Plato wrote about this city, the city of Atlantis. But people believe this is a fiction of like not a fiction. Uh, what's the term? Uh, like myth, yeah. Okay. Like a mythical city. It's believed to be like a very the home of a, a technological civilization, very ancient, but nobody knows where it, where it is because Plato writes about it. It was in, in circles of land and water, like a land, water, land and water, and the circles were connected by bridges. But then this was destroyed for some. Uh, uh, was destroyed sometime, a long time ago, like before this period, and it was underwater, something like that. So people are to this day looking for this place. And there's a place in the Sahara Desert that resembles a lot like like this. Really? It's, a, it's called the Rishat structure, and you can see it from space. It's huge. The thing is huge, it looks like an eye, a giant eye. In Africa? With like in, in Africa, Mauritania. In, uh, I think it's... Wow. Well, so, so that's what kind of sounds like. Yeah. This is so interesting. It is. Uh, uh, so uh, man, I've been diving in this rabbit hole for weeks because ever since I watched, uh, what is it called? Apo- Ancient Apocalypse. And we can definitely talk more about this. Know. It's on Netflix. It's a, a mini series, documentary series. Oh, okay. It was uh, done by this journalist and he's been researching those things and he talks to actual specialists. To researchers, geographers. What is the name? Ancient. Ancient apocalypse. Ancient apocalypse. Because the whole premise, just to like resume, uh, to to finish the the subject, the topic, is like there were ancient civilizations. They're not that they're not affirming that one hundred percent, but they're saying there is evidence of that. Okay. And there is evidence to suggest that catastrophic events happened on Earth that wiped out all these civilizations and we have no trace of them except for those really awesome structures like the pyramids even though they're believed to be 4,500 years old but there's some evidence so it's from there that you you listen at first about the possibility of this pyramids yeah actually this was a little after because i saw those guys this guy I think he's a geologist or something in uh, Joe Rogan podcast, and they were talking about all those oh. things. 
and they found one that like this one is actually like there's carbon dated because the thing is you can't why there's controversy about the pyramids is you can't carbon date stone you simply can't that stone how are you gonna because even if you okay this stone is like a million years old it doesn't mean that it was built a million years ago oh, right yeah, that's, that's... so it's like it's an estimation like they found stuff around the pyramids and those they things estimate. were carbon dated to like four thousand years old four thousand five hundred years old but the thing is like they found a, a, another structure in turkey it's called gobekli tepe and it was deliberately uh i would say buried and it's very also like with many blocks, megalith, uh, megalithic blocks, and they, they, when they look at the sky, they are like pointed in certain directions to certain stars and galaxies. So it's pretty interesting. Like I can't actually like explain because I'm not like a specialist. I would have well, to like, really study in depth. But I mean, I definitely recommend if, even if you don't believe any of that, but it's nice to keep you, you know, thinking. That I, I, I think, think I'd be so different. I think anything about history is curious. Yeah. Because you can think about it from very perspectives. So, you know, you, you create like a conspiracy theory about something that happened like yesterday. Something <laughs> 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 that happened today, you could be conspiracy. You could. You imagine like back then. Yeah. There's like it's so many vague information that we just try to figure it out, like, okay, so how did they do it? And then we have an answer, but it's like, is there more? And they're proven wrong, it's like, okay, so what we knew is not what actually might have happened. So, that, yeah, so and that's exactly the whole myth, and that's actually interesting. That's like exactly what these guys say. It's like, okay, if, if we're right, if those things that we're saying, you know, that we're suggesting is actually what happened, this will change the whole history of human history, or at least how we, you know, understand this to ourselves. Well, it changes and, the and, yeah. And then, of course, when you start researching and diving those rabbit holes, you can find like a lot of conspiracy. But at least those guys that I saw and that I watched on Netflix, they are they're they're legit. They are not conspiracy theorists. Yeah, so because, like, and they're not affirming anything. They're just like suggesting and saying, okay, maybe yeah. listen. The problem is they find a lot of um, resistance by academia because it's it's like okay, if all of a sudden you're proposing a whole new different theory and i as an academic I, i've been teaching something different so it, it's like you're ruining all my my knowledge and everything so it's not i'm not going to support this new theory i'm not even going to consider it so they shut them down no especially because if you change one theory you have to rethink everything else okay. and and that's that the people have this um it's a it's a very strange sensation when you you like everything you think you know is like it's not true and you be like okay so what is life <laughs> you have like, this way of, like, an existential crisis and so like many people don't like that feeling but I love that feeling like I, I like okay so I don't know nothing perfect <laughs> okay so okay so what what do I have to know what can I know. Yeah. It's actually a very good sensation, but of course, it's, it may have to be like tough minded a little bit to understand that. And last but not least, to well, uh, move into the, the last portion of our show, some movie uh, series review. It's again uh, another series. Have you guys heard of Round Six? And just uh-huh. one quick, is your phone on? Because I'm, I'm thinking like. I'm listening and I'm not sure if your mic is on. My mic? I didn't test it actually. Yeah, and I forgot to test it too. Um, I'm not sure. Let me see this. Because there's a, a little button and I'm not. Where's the button? It's like uh, somewhere on the so, side. On the side. No, but I think you've tested before. I did test before. I thought I tested, but I'm, I'm like, I'm not sure if. Uh, so. So I'm this whole thing. Time. So let me see if I understand correctly. So this whole thing is gone. The whole thing is gone. The whole show. We're gonna have to do it again. <laughs> where's, where's the button? It's on the side. So you, you want to know later? Is it off? It's off. Oh, it's off. Yeah. It's off. Because now I can clearly hear you. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Oh. But uh, what's good? I thought you were to it. I didn't like. Man, the, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's much better now. Whoa. 
Okay. That's but it's okay. It's okay. We're yeah, we we'll check later. So Use that shit in the show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be good. This part of the story, anyway. Definitely. But I know yours is, is, is on. And yeah, it's on. We tried this one, I guess. No, because I can't hear it well. Got it. But yeah, but it's okay. I mean, we're learning, guys. I'm sorry. We're learning. <laughs> we're still, you know, we're newbies in this this business of YouTube. <laughs> but again, have you guys heard of Round 6? I heard about it, but the, I have no idea. The Korean TV show. The Korean TV show. I don't know. It, but it's I heard about it's it. It's actually I don't know why I heard. 2021. It's before it's not that new actually. It's not. But I what wanted, about it? I wanted to tie it to a new show that I think you might like. This. It's called uh, Physical 100. Physical 100. What is this? Man, I have no idea about no, this. One. It's also a Korean show. Oh really? Yeah. What what is up with Korean shows? Why are why are you watching this? I mean, not those are like popular shows on Netflix. Oh, it's on yeah. Netflix. On Netflix, yeah. Those so are popular shows. Everybody's watching, I guess, because if it's on Netflix. Is your phone, uh, your mic on too? Because now I'm. I'm well, what the hell? Is it off? Is on. It was on, right? It is. Check well, it. It was. Check what it. happened? You were doing something there. I'm okay. kidding. How about you do this? <laughs> Oh my god, hey. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? All the mics were off. All the mics are off, except for mine. I yeah. can't fix no, it. No, you're not an idiot. We are an idiot. No, I no, we are idiots. I, no, I, I'm We idiot. were supposed to check before we I'm an idiot on. for trusting you. I'm an idiot for not testing. No, but we were supposed to no, turn it on, right? I mean, but that's the only thing we should No, do. but there's so much audio from, from the cameras. I'm gonna mix everything, it's gonna be fine. Fine, that's okay. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we'll know later, right? Yeah. Oh my god, my glasses. See, I definitely need to print my checklist. Because I, I said I was, uh, I made a checklist on the computer, but I didn't check it. And I was thinking about all of all no, other things, and the <laughs> most important thing, the mics, I didn't text. No, I remember it's like okay. a five second thing. Yeah. <laughs> I remember it this way. Like, like... But it's fine. Sorry. So the thing is, you so you know round six. You I, I, I don't, I don't watch, watch I don't watch. But but I know it's about um. Actually, I don't know what it's about. I think it's about it's a game. Yeah, it's fictional. It's not real, but it's like a reality TV show. But it's fictional where okay. people go to this place. A hundred people there are desperate for money. Whoever wins this is it, is it that physical hundred or is it round six? Round six. Oh, okay. So whoever wins uh, gets the money, like. Millions of wands, wands, I don't know, the Korean currency. Right. But the thing is, when they enter this competition, they don't know that the only way for them to win is to survive because 99 people will actually die in the competition. So the first thing, they're like playing those kids' games. The first one is like there's this giant doll and it's playing music. That, and I think the doll has the, the eyes closed. So they can move from place A to place B, like to finish line, while the music is on. And then the music stops, they have to stop. If anyone moves, the person gets shot. And then the person dies. And then, every, of course, everybody's like, what's going on, you know? And then people start running, and then they all get shot, and many people die. This might be the very first this, game. This might be a spoiler, but do they know? Is, is it like the first? Time that that reality TV show exists, so they don't know how it works. Yeah, it's oh, the okay. first time. Oh. Yeah, and they're entering thinking, okay, I'm gonna play some games. If I lose, I, I go home, and if I win, I I get money. And then realize that it's the things like they they go home in a coffin. They're not gonna survive if they don't. They go into the into reality TV show for like a deep way of shit. Yeah, and the thing is, what I was saying you're gonna like this uh, is that I don't think this I'm other. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There was another show that they released this year called Fiscal 100, and this is like a reality TV show. And I'm pretty sure they based on round six, but of course nobody dies. Okay. Nobody dies. But there are like many, a con hundred contestants, they are competing for this money. Um, but it's like a real... And, and this one is a real one. Oh, it's really? a real one, yeah. So I thought it was pretty interesting because they brought together very uh, many different types of, or, or people with different backgrounds and different sports. Like, okay, got it, got it. Like uh, bodybuilding, CrossFit, 
uh, a lot of fighters. Fighters. There were many fighters as well. And exactly. there was a cyclist that Our actually went pretty maybe. far. Hmm? Our lifters. Our yeah. lifters too. Yeah. Maybe. So it's pretty interesting to watch, you know, and see the looks uh, nice. Which, Sounds uh, nice. Which modality kind of like goes far? And uh, there was also a climber, an ice climber there, which I which is her favorite. Yeah, I, I've never climbed on ice, but I mean, just you know, climbing is pretty interesting, and I, I enjoyed that to see. Like he went very far, but he didn't. How many? Um, how many episodes? Oh man, I don't know. I forgot a few. But the, the last one was released two weeks ago, yeah. And I think it was pretty leveled the way they, they made it because there were some, some so, how to say, some competitions that uh, favored lighter people. The very first one actually favored people who were light, you know. And, uh, but other ones favored people who were very heavy because they were stronger. And sometimes they had to work on teams and sometimes work by themselves. Well, for a hundred people doing that. A hundred people. That's a lot. That's I'm a lot. I'm going to check it out. Yeah. I'm would you, would out. you ever compete in something like that? I would, but I'm not good anyway. So <laughs> I think I would waste my time there. I think it was for the fun of it. I think it would be interesting if it was around friends. <laughs> that's, that's nice. Yeah. I actually invited both of you. Didn't I invite you? To what? A competition, like a competition. In you did invite me for something a long time ago. Yeah, we're doing it again. Maybe, maybe. Did this, I tell you that I won? Maybe what this. Competition? Maybe this whole story is because you want to throw in our faces. Yes, I wanted to brag that I won twice. With <laughs> maybe <laughs> two times. I'm sorry, man. I'm wow. two, two time champion. I should, yeah, and I would have been a uh, three time champion, but I didn't participate in the first. What competition? Was sick, the second. I remember this one. I think. Yeah. These ones. I think you never. I think you never told me that because you, yeah, you're scared of losing. No. That's, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I ever told you, think you that's that. The main I probably reason. told you, but it, you didn't read the message. Probably. That, that, yeah. that might, that might happen. It might be yeah. possible. That's extremely yeah. possible. Yeah. But uh, so this one, one of my friends, he he saw this this uh, Navy SEALs thing online. Uh, it's not a competition, it's a, a test. Navy SEALs test. And he's like, oh, it would be interesting if we did something. It's still in English test? Like, yeah. Oh, you go to Areo? We, yeah, we went to oh. Areo. Yeah. So I did tell you, huh? No, I saw stories. I, saw I didn't know stories. it was a competition. I thought we were just like working out together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a competition. So we did a number of pull-ups, a number of sit-ups, and a number of push-ups. And also we ran for few minutes and also swim. Nice. So yeah. So we had to do I, well, for, I forgot the numbers now, but like we had two minutes to do a minimum number of push ups. Then we would rest for two minutes. And then two minutes doing sit ups, rest two minutes, and then uh, two minutes max to do at least six pull ups. And then we would rest for ten minutes and run two point four kilometers in less than fourteen minutes. And then after that, those who would, those who survived, completed, survived, completed at least those uh, three or four uh, first exercises go would swimming. go swimming. Yeah. And I and I'm not kidding. I did win <laughs> twice. Yes. Yeah. How many people participated? Like six people. Yeah. So we're doing it. Uh, we're doing it again. Sometime That's why I wanted to bring it up. In, a two, oh. in two months. Yeah. In two months. Two, so like in the next two months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we still we haven't <laughs> we haven't decided on the date, but we're gonna do it. I'm yeah. getting in shape. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. We're gonna set up the goals and write them down because I have a a pre challenge and a challenge now, yeah. and then we're gonna do two challenges. All right. Yeah. And it's gonna be the boss again, and everything is. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with this dude? No. Are you gonna participate? No. Let's talk about something else. Now is the comment section. <laughs> now, guys, you're running, the away, you're it's, running away from the conversation. The section that we talk about you guys. Yeah. And we have a comment section. In this our second episode where we got comments in our first video. Yeah, that's awesome. Which is amazing, guys. Thank you. Or uh, girl, actually. I want to read the, uh, this yeah. very nice, this very nice comment that 
And I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, pronouncing it wrong, but uh, Noella Raymond Dervis. So she said, I really appreciate your content, guys. I'm glad I discovered your channel. It helps me learn language structure for daily life conversations. Plus, you're funny and interesting with pleasant, with pleasant tone of voice. Thanks a lot. Wish you the best. That, that was actually a very sweet comment. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I'm glad you're hearing that. Yeah. I was very um, surprised. It's a good start. It's a good start. It's a good start. Yeah. yeah. And uh, there's one com a bad comment. <laughs> a bad <laughs> comment? Sorry. Yeah. Do you remember? Was there? Yeah. The, the person said, I hate Rosario. <laughs> No, there was no such comment. <laughs> okay, okay. Nobody said that. <laughs> that was Alice. <laughs> it was like, I hate the boss. <laughs> you created because a I want to take over. I want to take over the podcast. <laughs> created um, a fake account and started. Oh uh, my goodness! Yeah, sending hate comments to us. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for that. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching this. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell. For when new videos are uploaded, share the videos. Share them. Leave any, a comment. Any suggestions? We are open. It's greatly appreciated. Wide open. Wide open. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, tell us uh, if you want us to talk about a specific topic next time. We uh, of course we said that before, right? The internet is a place where all idiots meet, including us. <laughs> so we meet outside the internet. <laughs> But we like we don't know what we're talking about. We're just <laughs> average guys, average people speaking English and uh, talking as you know, as uh, a group of friends would do. And that's the main purpose of this. We're not teaching English, just practicing and inspiring maybe you guys to do the same. Thank you. That's it. This Thanks. is Thanks. this is okay. I'm not gonna make a mistake again. This is casting thoughts. Until next time. Peace. Nickelback. Ha 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 ha.